After several years, the District of Columbia finally has representation, a representation of sorts in at least one part of the U.S. Capitol. That's right. A statue of Frederick Douglass was added to the Capitol's collection today, an honor once available only to states. As our D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford explains, the move brought celebration and a new call for D.C. statehood. It took a while to get Congress to accept what D.C. considers its state statue in the Capitol of Frederick Douglass, but it happened today in Emancipation Hall. The vice president and top federal leaders were there. D.C. leaders came. And noting Frederick Douglass was U.S. Marshal in D.C., folks like former D.C. Police Chief Isaac Fullwood came with his grandsons. He fought for freedom. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for a guy like Frederick Douglass. He fought for freedom. He was... He lived in southeast Washington. And a long dead political figure could mean many things to different people, Democrats and Republicans. Congressman Trent Franks called him a profound hero. And I think that's something that every Republican, every American should emulate with all their heart. Yet D.C.'s delegate, a Democrat, quoted Douglas on D.C. rights. There was what he called plenty of taxation but no representation. And Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid used the occasion to call for D.C. statehood. Now lawmakers should not only honor his legacy with a work of bronze, but also an act of Congress. Oh, freedom. It was a ceremony of music, of pride for a great-great-grandson of Douglas. That exciting that my, you know, my heart just swelled up with, with pride and joy. And a lot of us remember a time when just about any town in America would have a Frederick Douglass school, like Coffeyville, Kansas, where I was born. There was Frederick Douglass High here today from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Though born a humble slave, Frederick Douglass died so important an American figure that the thought in Emancipation Hall wasn't does he belong here, but why did it take so long? Reporting from the U.S. Capitol, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.